Snickers are no longer made in South Bend, yet they continue to make their way here. This weekend, the Midwest Studebaker Drivers Club is holding its annual meet at the St. Joseph County Fairgrounds and keep a high profile in the community. Our Mark Peterson joins us live from downtown South Bend with all the details. Mark. You know, downtown South Bend holding its first Friday's event, the Studebaker Drivers Club arrived in grand fashion. They arrived in uh, parade formation. Now they've spread out their on display. You know, if you're out and about in South Bend and you don't see at least one or two Studebakers this weekend, you're probably not looking. Much like the Swallows return to Capistrano, the likes of Larks and Golden Hawks are once again flocking to South Bend. And do you take it out quite a bit? What kind of reaction do you get? Oh, I get, uh, you know, people blowing horns and giving me a thumbs up and waving. And it's, it's fun to drive. In Jerry's case, he drives like a champion as he drives his 1955 Studebaker champion down memory lane. My dad worked in this building on your left. And I used to ride down here with my mother and we'd park in a station wagon right on the corner there. And Each of those is a crest of the different craft or guild that worked in the factory. And a great connection back to Mr. Studebaker, who was what? A blacksmith right. uh, and then became a, you know, a successful industrialist. But his roots was as a tradesperson. This year, the Midwest Studebaker meet offered tours of the former Studebaker company headquarters, built in 1909 with mules doing much of the heavy lifting. People don't realize, you know, they started uh, Memorial Hospital, they, uh, Howard Park, they were big on that. They uh, built this, the first YMCA they, they built, they built that pretty much the same time they built this. Uh, Studebaker pretty much was this town at one time. <laughs> at one time, they were the largest producer of vehicles in the world, you know, including the wagons and stuff like that. And they said almost half the people that migrated to the West were in Studebaker wagons. They were such a good product. Now, the meet's taking place out of the St. Joseph County Fairgrounds. Uh, tomorrow, the public has a chance to see what's going on. There's some uh, car contests and a, a swap meet. There is a cover charge there of about $5. Uh, sorry, he, they need me to, to work on the engine here for now. $5 worth it to see some of those beaut cars. Mark Peterson Live. Good work, Mark. Thanks so much. <laughs> Happening tomorrow.